Franklin, Catherine Seelan, and Cyril Castor. It's Fish Castle! Wow, he actually knows her full names. I'm impressed. Um, we're going to start with a song of mine. kind of stems from Rosanna Dishwashing. Um, it's not a funny song. Sometimes doing like ordinary things can be very uh, therapeutic. It's called Shades of You. used to be uh, Lenape village called Opasiskunk. And um, now it's like a bedroom community. Not my house. My house is on a separate lot, but across the street is uh, 33 
poems called Country Walk, which is um, like s uh, single family homes with six to 8,000 square feet of living area each. And an electric bill is probably more than the value of my house. different lifestyles of the Orinoco. It's called Green Hill. And it's, I, I have to look up Capo. Let me look up real quick. Sure. Mm. Play another Capo. Capo. So, there's so many things you can say about the relationship. I have a copy of the so-called bill of sale, where, um, whereupon William Penn bought all the land from the Delaware to the Susquehanna from um, someone who he wrote in the, the bill of sale as the chief of Opisiskunk, the Lenape chief, and he bought all of their land for a price which was whatever the other Indians along this river are used to getting. And the only problem with that is that the Lenape didn't have chiefs. And if they were going to um, sell or buy land, which they didn't do, it would have been from the women of the tribe because they were the keepers of the land and not the men. And he said in her, on me next spring upon my return from hunting, I promised to sell my other lands, which lieth on the other side of the river, <laughs> to William <laughs> Penn. <laughs> and anyway, so um, yeah, don't do it. So anyway, there are no Lenape left in Mr. Penn, but there's a distant echo that in the 1650 when the Dutch landed there were 24,000 Lenape, in 1750 there were 3,000 Lenape, and in 1850 there was one Lenape. Mm -hmm. Her name was India. Her name was Indian Panna. Anyway, okay.
so far in a room where no one may go in a house in the middle of a perfect green lawn where nothing else ever may grow oh, 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 Phrase means so long goodbye. La peach que me wait.